Dobby! Happy Dobby anniversary to me, to all of us. It is September 9th, the day that you're seeing this, which means it's been an entire year since I posted my very first The Boys video, which was that was for my I Wanna Stand mini series. I reacted to Whisper and Thrill Ride. Please go watch it if you haven't. It is an adventure in itself. We're here today for day seven of Dobby Week, the very last day of season two slash week two of Dobby Week. I did a season one slash week one earlier this year and it was so much fun that I was like, you know what? There's still so much songs I haven't heard of and so much content that you guys have been requesting and things I still wanted to get to, but I just didn't know how to get to them without, you know what I mean? Doing a marathon, I guess. So I decided to do week two of W Week and that's why we're here. Today's the last day we are doing their fifth mini album, Chase. This is the Steeler era and it's so insane i'm so excited to be here it's been an entire year like that's insane to think about but anyways we have all the b-sides i've already reacted to the stealer that was actually featured in my very first i think that was like my second ever the boys video my very first the boys music video marathon where i watched the stealer so you can go watch that too i'll have my entire the boys playlist linked after this video and i'll link it in the eye so you guys can go click on it if you want to but so we have all the b-sides we have shine shine insanity whiplash which i've heard so many good things about whiplash and it's actually the, the second most streamed song on this album on spotify and then we have make or break and then checkmate stage version so i'm assuming checkmate is a song they performed on kingdom and they made a stage version for this album because i think this came out after I don't know if it was Road to Kingdom or Kingdom Legendary War. I haven't watched their performances for either. And I will. I promise I'm I'm gonna get to it. But um, yeah. We're here. I'm so excited, you guys have no idea. The only album we're not getting to for the week is their six mini album Thrill Ride, but I'm probably gonna react to that right before their next comeback happens for you know their little trilogy thing for fantasy. So whenever that's announced, that's probably when I'll end up doing the six mini album because I'm gonna need a break after the week. It's been so hectic recording all these videos, but um yeah. I'm not talking and we're gonna get started. I'm so excited. I missed you guys. I'm just excited to be here. It's a one year, which is crazy. Like it's not the one year when I'm recording this, but it's one year when you're seeing this. So I still get to celebrate, you know? Alrighty then. My ears are gonna hurt because I'm wearing hoops and it kind of looks stupid, but you know what? It's all right, we will live. All right, first we have Shine Shine, and this did play for like a second while I was loading up the video, so what do we have going on here? All right, all right. When I hear, when I see, when I saw this, I was like, oh, it's going to be an upbeat, fun song. But then I heard, like I said, a few seconds, and then I thought about The Stealer, and that is not, that is, that song is insane. All right, all right, shut up. What is Young Hoon wearing in these photos? <laughs> This makes sense for it to be darker since the Steeler is the tad bit darker. This is reminding me of Maverick. Maverick came out after, not right after, but it came out obviously after this. So, oh, we can see them doing, this is where like, I, was, wasn't this the first like darker concept? Was it? Cause all the things we listen to like now, we're not, su oh my God, I think this was, oh. <laughs> Oh. 
staring. Did he say I'll kill you? I was gonna say something. This reminds me of one of the B-sides that they have on the single album for Maverick. I'm not sure which B-side, but it reminds me of it. I keep thinking Russian Roulette, but I think it's severely different. I mean, obviously, but... Interesting. funky very but it's it's also very like smooth mysterious does that make any sense oh the song is so i can't explain it that it was so interesting and this does lead into the stealer so i feel like for it to lead into the stealer is so perfect because they're, they're already talking about like stealing your heart and that's kind of what the stealer is about you know they're stealing lobi's heart you know um but ooh, this was so good the run jacob did in the songs so it will forever leave an imprint 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 in my brain he ate that shit up he really did. Oh my god, my ears are starting to hurt. This is why I don't wear hoops anymore because I'm always recording and they hurt when I like do that. Anyways, um, that was Shine Shine. Everyone said out here. They delivered with that. Also, these concept photos. Let's be real now. Can we not? All right. We have insanity. And that's what describes them. They're insane. This is insanity. All right. Insanity. Let's go. Oh, I've heard this. It was in the guide. I think all the snippets that I've been hearing, like with s some of these songs, were featured in the guide that I watched last week for the first week of Dolby Week. It was the last two episodes because I split it into two um, days, but I've heard this part of the song. I don't know for like during what part of the video, but I remember hearing it. Uh, I think uh, I didn't know it was like this. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> what in the hell is
is going on? This is insanity. Exact. Yeah, that best description they that best song title they could have ever gave. Cause what the hell? <laughs> I never know what to say about Kevin because like he literally can do anything. I feel like Kevin. <sighs> okay. He's just good at everything. Like, so drive me crazy. You're driving me crazy. Oh. Hey. Opposite sex, what? I'm sorry, I've been paying no attention to the lyrics. I, the vocals are literally all I can, I, okay. Just to drive somebody crazy, Hyunjae, sit down. No, because why would he do that actually? <laughs> person this idol who you know can sing who you know has the ability to do a lot of things but then he opens his mouth and then you're like damn yeah yeah <laughs> Oh. Oh. 
I was looking for the right word. I was gonna say this whole album feels very, well so far, it feels very like flirtatious and is alluring the right word. Like they are talking about like wanting to steal your heart and all of that. So it would make sense that it feels that way. And like what uh, from some of the lyrics I'm reading, like it seems like that's what it's, it does feel really alluring in a way like makes you want to keep listening. I guess you can say in that way. Like I think it's really good with making it feel like you're being stolen. No. Forward. Oh, cool. oh, it ends like that? Oh, okay. Insanity was definitely insane. They're, I'm gonna, what from what I got from it, they're going insane from driving the, uh, the person crazy and the per person driving them crazy. So they're kind of going insane with all these feelings and yeah. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's kind of what I got from it, from the small things that I did read. But um, the vocals in this song go insane. Sunno just whipping out his fucking falsettoing. Young Hoon too. And then I always love when Chani and Song Yun like harmonize. It's so fucking pretty. They know how to do it so effortlessly, make it or make it seem effortlessly anyway. Kevin's high ass falsetto, y'all. They were eating up the fucking vocals in the song. Like, they delivered. Left no crumbs. I love that song a lot. I do like it more than Shine Shine. But we will see what my favorite B-side is at the end because this is only the first listen. It could change. So next we have Whiplash. I'm so excited for this song. You have no idea. All right, Whiplash, let's go. If this song is so- I can see why everybody likes this song, bitch. The the melody, the melody, the melody, the way. Oh. Any play, baby. Be the lot of that man. But I didn't know her, babe. What do you mind, girl? Nobody, nobody. Changing it, the mammy, you're going to see the end of your tongue. You can't remember your tongue. <laughs> Shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, this is it. My yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be I I I get it. I get it. I fucking get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> rip my pillow and oh that hurt my nail oh th i there's no words to explain the way this song makes me feel i get why it's so popular and i get why it is adobe favorite you know like i i understand because this is my favorite piece <laughs> i don't have to hear anything else this is my favorite piece set off of this album it's it's it just has that vibe where it's kind of dark feeling but it's also very light and refreshing in a way. There's no way, there's no perfect words to describe this, but I have no words. Yeah, yeah. It's just that. Oh. 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 
problem. 나 역시 no problem. 빠를수록 강렬해진 떨림을 넌 느껴. 더 주저없이 one, two, three. 넌 I'm No air, whiplash, both number one for me. Favorite the boys songs to exist. This, the way I feel about this song, I said the same thing about fantasize. Like those are my babies. These are my babies. No air, whiplash, and fantasize are my babies. The way this song makes me feel is very much so like 90% equivalent to the way I feel about no air, whenever that shit starts playing. It makes me want to scream at the top of my lungs because of how good the song is. I feel like this was so ahead of its time. Like, if this shit was released now, people would be eating that shit up. Like, I... I can't even explain. I genuinely have no words. There's nothing bad about this song. We're gonna move on before I talk about this song forever because I'm obsessed. Favorite B-side. All right, make or break. Oh, this is pretty already. Oh, shit. Oh, Right 
That is not Kevin Milk. No. That was an interesting ending. I liked that. It was very vibey. Like I said, it kind of reminded me like the... It gave me the same vibe like right here. It gave me... It, I don't know the exact genre. Um, is it like EDM? Is that what the genre is called? But I liked it. It was very fun, very vibey, very catchy. And I have nothing bad to say. Like, it's. A, I feel like the way it's structured is very... It's like... I don't want to say predictable, but it's like one of the... It, it feels like it's a very... It was made this way so it could be like performed. You know, like, because it's very catchy. It's very groovy. Like, everybody can enjoy it. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing too boom different about it you know but it was good i liked it all right that was make or break um next we have checkmate stage version so this makes me scared because if this was in road to kingdom or kingdom i will eventually get to that on patreon only only the performances for the boys but it makes me scared why does it sound like we're entering halloween i mean it is september Alright, this is what we're not gonna do. Ooh, this is spooky! <laughs> song oh shit i like this it's very dark it has those dark like elements like the the way the piano's being played how they're using their lower registers even oh <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
All right, we're done. We're done, which we are. We actually are done. That gave me such Halloween vibes. But at the same time, I think this is the darkest song that they have. Ow. Like, The Stealer is pretty dark. Maverick is pretty dark. She's a Boss is pretty dark. But I feel like this is, like, the darkest I've heard them. <laughs> like, like, kind of like the darkest concept song that I've heard them do. It's so good, though. Like, this is... <sighs> Is this their song? Because I know in Road to Kingdom, they did like, well, they actually did do their own songs. Let me shut up. Let me shut up. They did do their own songs on those. Um, but this is so, I liked, I liked hearing this side of them. Like they, hearing them do something so dark and so eerie. And I love how the chorus was all of them harmonizing and made just, it made it just that much better. Honestly, it really did. Um, Album ranking, Whiplash is the queen. I honestly think after Whiplash, it would be Insanity, Checkmate, Shine Shine, and then Make or Break. That is my album ranking for the Chase fifth mini album by the boys. I enjoyed today. I hope you guys had fun with me on the last day of Dolby Week. Happy one year Dolby anniversary to me and to all of you guys because that is when that video was released, like a bunch of you guys just found me and decided to join this little community we have here so thank you for sticking with me and dealing with my insane ass um i love you guys more than you would you would ever know i hope you enjoyed this week and i will see you for more of the boys because i'm sure they're gonna announce a comeback since it's a trilogy thing going on and i'll see you on patreon for come on the boys and more content and yeah i hope you enjoyed today i know i had an amazing time and i will see you soon bye